Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. For those who are new to my channel, my name is Elaine and the owner of what? LBE. All right, y'all, so we're doing another mock setup. Um, this time, I'm having my one of my six-foot tables out. The first setup I did was what's going to go in front of my tent, um, basically on the ground. And now I'm going to do um, a few setups. Well, one setup that's going to go inside the tent. Um, and this is the fun setup. So I'm showing you guys these tablecloths that I use. Um, I use solid black. I only use black. Uh, keep it classic. Um and just easy for me to clean and things like that. I don't have to worry about stains being shown um, and stuff like that during the process. If somebody spills their drink on it, guess what? You can't see it. <laughs> uh, but another good thing about these is um, I showed you those little pouches. They hook on the legs of um, each leg of the table to make it fit it. Um, so therefore, it covers all the way down to the ground or to the floor. So therefore you can't see anything that you have up under it if you have anything up under it. Um, and also it just gives it a clean and um, a nice look to the booth that you're setting up. All right, so um, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to um, add in some items that I'm going to use to elevate my booth now this is the most important thing i'm using these christmas buckets y'all use whatever i have back in the day i used to use straight boxes until i got you know a variety of containers um but you know you got to do what you got to do and i'm telling you boxes work make sure you put like a little weight inside them or something or you know like stuff them with another box or something like that just to give it like extra support um and tape it up really really well but boxes work you ain't got to go out and buy all this stuff now um these are just clearance buckets that i found after christmas last year um uh 90 off um, and then what I'm doing is um, I'm utilizing one of my um, backdrops that I ordered off Amazon. It's solid white. Um, it's not extremely big, so that works out great where it doesn't take over the space of the table, but just gives a little extra um, in the middle because I told you guys I'm kind of keeping this whole black and white scheme, but I still want to add a pop of color to this booth because why? It is the most festive one. Um, and I want to make sure I grab all of the kiddos' attention so that the parents can come right along with them to my section and to my booth. Um, so therefore, I also pulled out these clearance crates that I found years ago for a dollar at Walmart. I think it was after um, school supply section or whatever, or after school um, clearance. And I found these for a dollar and I've been using them ever since. So this time, instead of covering them up, I'm actually gonna bring out the color in them to make this booth stand out more. Um, and now what I'm doing is I'm utilizing them to elevate the uh, slipper and blanket and book sets that I put together. Um, if you haven't seen this, please feel free, feel free to go back and watch the video. Um, but these are some little girl and little boy slippers um, that I caught after Christmas for $2 at Walgreens. And I just added a 90% um, off uh, purple dot blanket, which I found the unicorn blankets. Um, I'm sorry, not purple dot, but uh, brown dot blankets. I found some unicorn blankets and some dinosaur blankets that went right well with the unicorn slippers and the dinosaur slippers. Um, and now inside, um, to be able to put out several of these, I'm adding in the uh, mystery bags because all of these are dedicated to kids. Um, so therefore, I have no issues with them being on the on this particular table. So, um, well, they're kid friendly anyway. Um, so anyway, um, what I did was I went on and separated these bags for a girl and then for a boy. Um, and reason being is because the activity sets that I had, some were catered to girls and some were catered to boys. So I didn't want to like mix them. Um, I just didn't want a child to be upset. Oh, I got a LOL activity set and I'm a boy. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't want them problems. So I just said, you know what, let me do some boy and some girl. So I split them up, um, and did boy and girl and how I separated them. I used my label machine. Um, and you'll see me show you uh, exactly how I bought well, the little sticker that I put on each one. But I used my small label machine and just typed out boy, did all the boy ones. And then I put the boy sticker, little label on the outside of them. So therefore, I didn't have to worry about um, trying to figure out which one is which once, you know, I got them all completed and bagged up. And I did the same thing with the girl ones. So as you can see, I put the girl on the girl side with the purple crate and the boy on the boy side with the blue crate. Now I'm adding in the large uh, Squishmallows. Now, the first thing I want to tell you guys to do is start with your larger items first and add them to the back. This is the same way as building a basket. Um, so when you, you're building a gift basket, the first thing you want to do is put in your larger item. That's the first thing because you don't want your larger item in the front and then your smaller items in the back or 
mixed up to where you can't see everything that's in the basket or try to see most of the stuff that's in the basket. So this is the same concept as building a basket. You put your larger items in the back and then you elevate everything else or kind of like level out everything else as you go along. So that's the reason why I um, use the slippers to go on top of the crates because that elevated those to stand out. And then I utilize the Christmas buckets in the middle to elevate the larger um, Squishmallows to give them more height and dimension to have the, the table flowing, you know, in a cool, symmetrical way um, and, you know, make it look kind of nice, nice, neat and organized. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm pushing the table back because I don't know why I left the gap in between the back because this table is going to be pretty much against my tent. Um, so therefore, I won't have any issues of um, anything falling over. So again, um, I have large squishmallows, I have small squishmallows, and I have medium size. Um, so I'm only going to put out a certain amount. I'm not going to overly fill this table. And I'm going to fill it up, but I'm not going to overly fill it up to the point where um it's going to be so so bunched together okay so i'm starting out with three large squishmallows and that's all i'm starting out with because i put out the three designs that i that i personally have i don't have any other type of designs in those so it's kind of pointless to put out two or three of each one um i'll just put out one of each and as i sell it i'll just bring out another one and replenish that one with the one that i sold um so anyway I'm trying to line up because what I'm going to do once I get done setting this up, guys, I am going to take a photo of it. So therefore, I know what this is going to look like. Now, I don't really care what side the smaller ones went on. Um, I just might want to make sure that it the whole dimension and the form of this table is photographed. So therefore, I know how I put it together. So when I get to that event, baby, I'm going to give my husband a picture or I'll do it. Whichever table he picks and whichever table I pick. And roll with the picture and get the table set up with no problems, no extra, hey, where this go, where this go, where this go, where this go. You know, you don't want all that. So um, this is, makes it easier on me. Now, the Christmas and that type of table is going to be a little bit more difficult um, to preset because I have so many items uh, that I'm going to try to utilize. But I'm going to try to do a preset or uh, presentation of that, but it probably won't be until this weekend sometime. Um, so that me and my husband can actually go outside and set up the tent because I am using two tables for like the Christmas and holiday and home theme type um, designs. So anyway, as you can see, um, like I said, I'm trying to make it even on both sides. Um, and as I sell some, because I have so many of these Squishmallows, well, I can't say so many, but I have quite a bit. Um, so as I sell some, I'll just continue to bring out more, um, but just to try to give it a even and clean look um this is design that i am pretty much trying to go with now i thought about the mystery bags and i didn't want them to come all the way out but then again i got to thinking about how i'm going to display the prices now i'm i do have tags for every single thing that i'm putting on the table and they will have a tag and a price tag on it but i also want to have a few um uh, price signs or price list signs. So I'm utilizing these little um, display things that I found at Dollar Tree y'all years ago. And I have been using them for every event because it's so easy. All you got to do is just replace the price sign with whatever you putting out on the table. Um, and it has that little clip. You just clip that on there and go about your business. Okay. I got those in black and white and I bought everything. Every one of them that store had. And I wish I would have went to another store and got more because, you know, as you do these events, you never know you know, how many you may need and where you may want to put them and things like that. But um, this is pretty much the um, finished product and finished look. Um, as you can see, I'm putting price signs on both sides. And it's basically going to have a list of the large, small and medium squishmallows. And then, of course, the mystery bags and the slipper sets. Now, I'm not putting everything that I have catered towards uh, young adults or kids or anything like that on the table right away. Um, I'm going to start with a certain look and then as the table sells out, hopefully I pray in Jesus name, um, then I will start bringing out more inventory to put out then. Um, unfortunately, I'm not going to overcrowd the table too much. So I have the mystery bags going. Um, once they sell out, they are gone. Um, and like I said, I'll, then I'll start bringing out other items to go on my table. 
Um, and once, you know, sometimes you, you realize that once you sell one thing to somebody like a mystery bag or something like that, I've sold them previously over the past few events and they've worked out great. I've even had people come back and buy more. So, um, if you are wanting to do that, Hey, feel free. It is a fun way to engage the younger crowd. Um, and even some of the teenagers get one just for themselves. So it's a way to engage them. And then you never know, they might come back and buy more and more and more until you're sold out. So, um, I try to make it very, very exciting inside of it, um, and give them all something to do, but yeah, this is the finished product. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, let me know what you think, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so I'll let you guys keep watching. All right, y'all, one more thing I wanted to point out. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it or not, but the best thing about these tablecloths is any additional inventory from back stock that you have the, of the items that are on the table, you can slide them right up under that tablecloth. And guess what? Nobody will know this up under there. Why? Because the tablecloths come all the way down to the ground, so they hide your back stock. And so whenever it's time to pull something else out and replenish the table, all you have to do is reach up on the table, pull that box or crate or container out, put your inventory on the table, and you are done. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. We'll see y'all on the next video. Peace.